Hey, hi, in this video, I will show you how to discover and catalog your data with using AWS Glue. Here we will have our source raw data in Amazon S3 bucket and contains a you know, huge list of CSE file. Now we will use AWS Glue uh, crawler service which will discover the data from the source here that is S3 bucket and load that data into the AWS Glue provided data catalog. So this video will be a hands-on experiencing saying like how you can transform your data by discovering the data present in the source which is a raw data from the Amazon S3 bucket and load into the AWS Glue data catalog table. So with that note, let's go to the uh, my, um, you know, my subscription here. Let me take you to the my, um, Azure sub my AWS subscription here. So this is my AWS subscription here. And I'm currently in AWS Glue if you see here. And then within the AWS Glue, we're gonna go to the data catalog and then there is a service called crawler. Now here we will build that crawler definition which will help us to extract the data from the source S3 bucket and load it into the AWS Glue data catalog, right? So we will have a dynamic table created under the under this particular you know data catalog table. That's what we're gonna see here. So first one, before I start that, let me take you to the my Amazon S3 bucket. So in the Amazon S3 bucket, I have a um, S3 bucket called serverless analytics one. So in this one, we have a raw data which is present underneath this path right and then uh, you know so yeah so underneath this uh, i have a two folders but we're gonna look at the yellow trip yeah yellow uh, trip data then load this data into the uh, you know the data catalog that is uh, aws glue data catalog so with that i will go to the crawler so you're gonna go to the crawlers and click on a create crawlers by the way you can do this activity with using the cloud formation template terraform or using the sdks so here let me call it as a you know the um, demo crawler Right, so I have given the name demo crawler. Let's go to the next one. In this one, uh, since uh, if you see here, so that is nothing but source data configuration. So is your data already mapped to the glue table? Uh, I will say no. And then let's go to the next one that is uh, data source. Click on the data source here. So here our data source is S3 bucket. So we're gonna choose that S3 bucket from the data source option. A network connection is not needed because we are using the public network. Uh, so the S3 bucket is present in this uh, account. So we're going to have the in this account option in the location of the S3 data. And then in the S3 path, we're going to browse that. And from here, we will choose the same bucket uh, which we have uh, seen previously. So here I will go to the serverless analytics and go to the raw. And then from here, we go to the path that is uh, yellow trip data. So currently if you see here, it is discovering it and uh, we're going to choose this uh, particular path here that is uh, you know the um, uh, new york taxi so let's choose this complete path so right if you see here it says that um, so it says there is some error this is basically field is required okay this should be gone now because we have selected the path previously it was since we have not selected the s3 path so that's the reason it was showing error but now if you see we have i don't know uh, given all the path so if I go back to this particular S3 bucket and show that, you know, so underneath the, uh, you know, the uh, New York taxi, so you you should have a two tables. One is taxi zone lookup and the yellow trip data. So something like that. Okay. So and underneath that, you know, we're going to go to the uh, subsequent crawler run. So we will say all subfolders and then, you know, uh, click on add source, right? And then we go to the next one that is basically configure the security configuration. So in that one, I'm going to choose the ETL Lambda access role, which is, admin role and has access to the AWS glue in the sense uh, in this IAM role I have added a trust to the uh, IAM role like that and uh, let rest all options we will keep the default and we go to the next one that is um, target table so let's go to the uh, you know so here let me keep keep it under the default target database so what is that database is is, is underneath the data catalog we have we should have created um, you know the databases by default aws provides you one database uh, table let it be like this and then you know so in the crawler schedule so let me make it on demand because i'm going to crawl it only one time uh, next one so we keep it all default and uh, click on a create so once you click on a create what happens is you know it just creates a definition uh, so the definition if you see here i i have already have the previous definitions uh, but recently we have created demo crawler you need to select that and click on a run so basically what does that mean is you, know, you have defined the you know the pipeline of our data you know the discovering and uh, data loading right uh, data loading into the destination data discovery from the source 
now this crawler is running you know let's wait for this crawler to get completed then i will show you that you know does it, how does it create a table by discovering the schema of the you know csc file and loading those data present in the csc file in those tables okay that's we're gonna see in a couple of minutes okay so after waiting for more than um three four minutes i see that the crawler job got succeeded so this is the latest run that we have uh, you know run and it has done the job so if i go back to the uh, you know data catalog databases and then choose the default database so underneath that i see that two tables are being created so how does those two tables are being created by discovering the sub path if i go to the new york taxi folder underneath that we have a two sub folder that is taxi zone lookup and yellow trip data so those two uh, you know subfolders are considered as the table name here and then you know automatically it has you know identified the schema and loaded the you know the data present underneath that file into this particular data catalog table now your data from the uh, you know the raw s3 bucket now it is there in the aws glue uh, you know table or aws glue data catalog table right so now uh, so if you want to recheck whether the schema of the csc file um, in the taxi zone lookup is as same as this one so let's do that verification as well so if i go to the taxi zone uh, lookup yeah and then uh, so this is the this is the table that is taxi zone lookup and in here you know i'm gonna download this uh, particular file and we see the column of that or basically the headers of that particular csc file so if i open this csc file right and a uh, little bit more so you see that it has a location id uh, you know the borrow zone service zone so so we have a three one okay so if i open this so we have a four columns are being there in this particular csc file and that is what crawler has discovered and it created the data catalog table so you can find those here right? you see that we have a location id um, you know this one borrow then you have the zone and service zone all right similarly for the another table so we have seen for taxi zone uh, lookup so there is a one more uh, you know table underneath the default database that is um, if i go to the uh, databases then databases we have seen the uh, you know taxi zone lookup we go for the yellow trip data so yellow trip data also has you know discovered the same uh, you know thing here right so if i open the yellow trip one example folder so we go to the yellow trip data and we download the small size one so all looks like all are very big size or in 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 mbs right so now if i download this by the way it is 20 mb it, it's gonna take us some time uh, so i'm gonna go on a pause while it gets downloaded and we're gonna show you that you know the headers of that particular csv is as same as what the crawler has discovered in the uh, in the in the uh, in the data catalog table okay so it took more than uh, 30 seconds to download it so if i open this big size uh, csc file uh, so it looks like it is really big uh, it's not able to load it basically okay uh, it has loaded if you see here it has the vendor id um, something like this right uh, pick up time all these columns so if i go back to the uh, you know the, that particular table so this is our yellow trip data table and uh, here you go right so we have a vendor id uh, pick up date time and that's what you see here so pick up date time likewise so right so what does that mean is basically you know so here i wanted to show you that you know how you can discover and catalog your data from the source uh, s3 bucket and uh, destination here is you know aws glue uh, data catalog table so with that note thank you very much uh, for watching my videos can't request please do subscribe my channel that would really encourage me a lot with that note thank you thanks a lot and see you in the next video